All domains and many of their elements are important to all behaviour, but your task will be to identify the most important elements and interactions for you. And what I'm doing here is creating my own map to demonstrate how it's done. Everything is nested within time. And indeed, time is very important to me uh, because I'm fascinated by it as a concept, because it assumes prominence as one grows older, and because I never have enough of it. Next, everything is nested within the natural environment. And this is also very important to me as a whole, but particularly the things listed here. The little ticks indicate things I want in my environment, like rain, rivers, birds, etc. And the crosses indicate things I'd like to avoid, droughts and bushfires. By the way, you might hear the occasional bird call in the background of my narration. For your map, look at the list in the previous video and select those that are most important to you, if any, and of course add others you might think of that haven't been listed as examples. Nested again within the natural physical environment is the built physical environment. And here are the things important to me. I'm sure many of you will emphasize other things like cities and shops, neither of which I want to interact with any more than I have to. Note how gardens and rolling green hills are connected to both the natural and built environments. There is, in fact, very little totally unspoilt natural environment left anywhere. Things like these, while being natural, have been very much altered and shaped by people, so they are true natural built hybrids. Pets are in the same category, so remember that uh, if they are important to you. Now let's look at the cultural and social domains. Okay, while I acknowledge the cultural domain as having a role in my behaviour, just as it does for all of us, traditions, customs, etc. have very little importance for me. I see Christmas, for instance, as just another holiday. Again, you may be very different. Think about your cultural environment, its customs, etc. and identify those elements that are very important to you. Similarly, the social domain doesn't feature too strongly for me either. And unlike most people, I don't interact much with what family I've got left, for instance. Coming closer to home, as it were, these are the important aspects of my biological domain. Staying healthy and avoiding disease have come to prominence again under the influence of time and growing older. And finally to my psychological domain, where both emotions and cognitions are equally important. Perhaps the strongest driver for me is my need to avoid boredom, to which I am quite prone. Boredom soon leads to depression, and like most people I assume, I want to be happy and not depressed. When I was younger I craved excitement, but with age that has ceased to be of much importance as it's been replaced by a preference for calmness. I'm still a bit prone to anger, though. Putting it all together, here's all that's most important in my environment. It may not be everything, as that could take a long time to think through, but it gives you the general idea, and that's all you need to do as well. Having identified some of the important elements in each of the environmental domains, we now turn to the basic interactions and the forces driving behaviour. For me, at this point in time, I guess most of all I seek to be interested in order to be happy and in order to avoid boredom, which equates to feeling depressed. Opportunities for problem solving, creativity, exploring ideas and gaining knowledge keep me interested. By the way, dashed lines indicate opposites, as in I am motivated to be interested as opposed to being bored. Appreciating beauty and feeling a sense of calmness together with health and fitness, also make me happy. Health is about avoiding disease, which is much more of a concern due to the influence of time in moving toward old age. This impacts in a major way on the whole biological domain and drives other behaviours, such as maintaining fitness, but with extra care to avoid injury, which takes longer to heal when older. Activity, sleep and good nutrition feature strongly to maintain health and nutritional concerns drive the behaviour of having a vegetable garden, emphasising the importance of home, 
the central element of the built environment. The garden is also a source of beauty, creating happiness, as does the home itself. In the social domain, good relationships with neighbours and remaining employed, an element in the economic system, are important to the security of the home, and superannuation is now something receiving more attention for the same reason, and again as a function of uh, time, old age looming. Things and technology in the home are all important as sources of problem solving and creativity, which as previously shown, are important to maintaining uh, interest and being happy. Rolling green hills, birds and relatively clear skies to observe the universe are all important to being happy in the home. And rain is important for maintaining gardens and green hills, hence I monitor rainfall and have invested in water tanks. Rainfall is a concern also because it helps avoid bushfires and the thing I most dislike, drought, which casts everything into a depressed state including my psychological domain, and impacting very negatively on happiness. Finally, locating a home not far from river systems in order to go kayaking, for which a sturdy car is critical for transport, uh, so as to enjoy the calmness and beauty, thence happiness of that activity. Not having strong social connections, the main behaviour that feeds back to influence social systems chiefly the education system, is through my employment. I could elaborate, of course, and bring in even more elements, but I think this is complex enough for our purposes. In summary, what does this analysis tell me? Clearly, I am one of those strange people for whom the physical environment is much more important than the social. My behaviour is focused around a home located within the natural environment as much as possible to allow for the pursuit of beauty, and with technology and things to keep my cognitive domain engaged. Aside from the home, being biologically healthy, being cognitively interested and emotionally happy are the hotspots, if you like, all associated directly or indirectly with the home. I expect most of your maps to be very different. Mine would have been very different when I was younger. In particular, I expect many of you will have your focus in the social domain, and you'll emphasise different elements in the built environment like cities and suburbs with their shops and entertainment venues. For some, the media in the social domain is likely to be influential, or religious values and observances from the cultural and social domains. Finally, after you've constructed your map, be sure to consider how your behaviour might feed back to influence environmental domains just as I did as the last point here. Okay, over to you. Enjoy creating your own map of your behavior environment interactions.